The road trip gave me the time I needed to study up on the Panda King. Born penniless, he was fascinated by the fireworks rich noblemen set off every New Year's. He spent a decade learning the art. But when he tried to offer his fireworks to the noblemen, they couldn't see past his shabby clothes and chased him away. Humiliated, the Panda King took revenge on those who shunned him by using the very tools of his art for crime. The Fetish Five recruited him as their demolitions expert, and from then on, his explosive touch became feared worldwide. He's rumored to be perfecting some new firework technique high in the unstable Kunlun Mountains of Western China. Sly Cooper in. Fire in the What is up guys? It's King Acorn85 for episode 16 of Let's Play Sly Cooper and the Thebius Raccoonus. So now that we know a little more about the Panda King, let's get into a perilous ascent. So chapter 4, let's see. Some statistics on this level. 30 clues. Okay, that's not as bad as... 5,000 or anything. So, um, I didn't really have a chance to kind of explain that enemy, but we'll have time. So, let's go around getting some of these clues in this first little area. Um, I know I did say Chapter 3 was my favorite, but now that I look at it, this is probably going to be my favorite. Um, I'm a fan of snow, I'm a fan of winter, and it just all comes together into this great... Um, also, if you notice the coins in the top left, that is the new logo for the coins. Um, Gonna pick some up. So this level just gives off a lot of, you know, nice warm energy. Get it? Because well, so this enemy. Um, let's see what happens. You just saw what happens, but he will swing and fly at you, and then he will like swipe, you know, his stick or his whatever. So these guys, what's well, really a guy in is he will fling. Baby monkeys, well not really baby monkeys, but baboons? I, I don't really know exactly that much about these enemies. But I knew though I do know what he does, as you can see it. You'll fling them and you cannot destroy them, so the trick is to pretty much just avoid them. Climb up the and I'll try and close and hear what it sounds like. So yeah, and then they go, wow! So that's kinda cool. A charm. Now this kind of is something I really like. Would you look at that? A fireworks show. Oh my gosh, that's awful! That poor village just got buried in freezing snow! The rocket came from that giant statue. And you can bet the Panda King lit the fuse. I've gotta find my way up there and fast before that lunatic squashes another town. Alright, so we just watched the Panda King, or whoever sent off that firework, just cover an entire village in snow. Um, so this introduces, um, just lots of, this level, this whole world, you know, world chapter, I mean the same thing, has lots of swinging and all that, so I really like that. You can't jump over them, so that's kind of useful. So yeah, he's some kind of weird baboon hanger, I don't know. Feel free to tell me what it is. So this just looks kind of cool. I mean, just the whole level design is cool. And <laughs> no pun intended. Um, I'm sure there'll be lots of chances for that. Okay, so. Can we get over here? Nope. So what do we have to do? Oh, but you, I did think that was, I did think that was funny. You, I set my checkpoint. So. If you jump up there, you can set your checkpoint. Falling icicles, it's pretty easy to tell where they're gonna fall because, yeah. There was like ice, or I don't know what you want to call frost, something. Coldness. Coldness falls down. Alright, so. This area is also cool. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. One. I wanna dodge these. So now we have multiple going off at once. Not too tough to dodge, to be honest, but you know, you can't just kind of stand there and just hope that you don't get hit. You gotta really dodge this stuff. So, just looking around for a few more clues. Doesn't look like it. So now we have lots of monkeys 
flying at us. Wait, is there anything that we don't look like there is? Nope. Okay, we're gonna just make our way. Wait, I wonder if this. Whoa, not slow mo. I forgot about these. Woo! Let's see which one can we use? We can, we can use them. That'll be useful. So, also, yeah, there's a real, like. You know, kind of like, like, no, when you get near them, they'll get scared and stuff. So, another element. Shooting fireworks. I mean, how could you not? How could they not include the whole shooting the fireworks on your own? Somehow. Okay, so this part is also pretty darn cool. General Tasu, Apius Swordium, has hairy palms. That's kind of funny. Okay, wait. So, here's the strategy. Ready to come here? Run over here and stay. There's honestly no need right there, but... Well, I guess so. You want to get him right as he turns. So that is definitely some kind of baboon or something. Some weird ape. It's creepy. Let's break him. We break him. Okay, um... To get into there, you have to go around, which I'm going to be doing. Right here, so... I'm going to use more... Sneak... Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, so sneaking, and then you want to get onto this little tarp. They do find it funny how they set up people to aim down on these little areas, yet they don't even... I mean, if you're going to set up two people to watch one little wall, why don't you get rid of the tarp? You know that they can go under there. <sighs> Alright, let's see. A little bit more. And here we go. So I'm going to take out these. Oh! Oh, okay, I got scared. So that takes them out. Okay. Take out these. Well, you don't... You know what I mean. Shoot these. So that opens down there. And then the other one opens the little bridge. So, if you come down here, there's the vault. And you can open it. So obviously we do not have enough. The, mu the rest must be over here. Or I've... Probably forgotten one, because that happens, you know. Yeah. Well, where did he go? There he is. Two, three. We got two from that. Oh, great. Another one of these things. No, no, no. Oh, that was definitely my fault. Um, okay, so that was mine. My fault, I accidentally opened up my Binakicom. Yep, they all have sweaty palms, and they all have the same name. Um, what's the, wait, is this? No? Is this? What is the thing where, oh, it's, okay, I mean, it's circle. You can just kind of, yeah, I'll show you, I'll show you guys that, for example. So that's pretty useful, am I right? Oh, let's get the rest of these clues, and then get the... I'm sure there's some little key or something all the way over here to activate. Little door. Oh! Oh, no. Oh, well, that just kind of shows what happens. Um, did he just have a sword in his mouth? I think he did. Um, so, okay, that shows be careful, because they will attack like that. Well, this is also a good tip. Hold circle and then have fast equip, and then they'll go by so much faster, as you can see. Oh. <laughs> they don't see me, do they? No, they did. Ugh, that was my fault. Try again. Please don't put me back all the way back. No, that don't start me at the beginning. Ugh, great. Now I get to edit. We're back. Uh, I lost the audio. Welcome back, guys. It's KD Corner 5. Wait, why am I saying that? It's, it's just a video cut. So, I'm looking at the screen right now. There goes Sly. Oh, wow, look at that jump. So, um, anyways, um, yeah, I lost the audio. If you're gonna let's play, one note is to stay organized. Because if you don't, you'll end up like me and you'll have to audio commentate. I mean, audio post commentate half your series. So, sorry about that. I don't think you guys even really care. So, 
So I go around basically just knocking out all these monkeys. Staying invisible, of course, unlike last time. I'm a lot safer. Um, look at all these. There's so many. I'm also going around trying to get a lot of the bottles, obviously. There's not too much to commentate here, but you know, I thought I'll do it. Um, I don't even know how I lost it. I've looked for it and looked for it. I haven't looked too much. See, I hear I really thought it was done for, but if you just go invisible. So, my biggest suggestion is just be really careful with that. Don't risk it. And again, you can see them going pretty fast at times. It's because I speed up using, um... See how fast they're going? Yeah. I'm using, uh... See, I guess it's just called, um... I don't even know what it's called. Fast? I think it's just called fast. So then I realized that I'm missing... Uh, how many am I missing? I was missing five, now I'm missing three. Bottles... 28, and then I'm missing two. So, I went around for a little while, and I think, oh gosh, I have to start to level over if I want to get all the clues, or I'll have to come back. So, I was really kind of getting upset. And this was recorded actually a long time ago. I'm going to go with maybe three months ago. <laughs> this was recorded. I know that's insane. I don't do that, guys. Don't worry. I, I, I stay up to date and record, um... So, you know, I can keep up with events and stuff. But this was just a one a while back. And, yeah, I know it's pretty far. So then we find the 30th. Run all the way home. Get a little piggy. And all the road. Wee, 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 all the way home. Um, okay, anyway. I got a real headache figuring this one out. Input 578. Alright, so the series is pretty... I think the series is going pretty good. Um, one thing is... Um, I'm trying to get more episodes out. It's just... Uh, school's kind of getting busy. Sorry, I'll let him talk. I'd always heard that one of your southern ancestors, Huckleberry Cooper, developed a technique to move while staying invisible. Hold down the circle button to turn invisible, then move around with the left analog stick. Yeah, that's a really viable one, and you basically need, I think you actually do, yeah, you do need that to uh, move on. So if you don't get that power up, you can't go on with the game. So anyway, um, school's been pretty busy. We've had a lot of uh, testing and end of, you know, semester, end of the year testing, getting ready for, so stuff like that. Um, I know a lot of you really want to view Pinata, and you're probably watching this not because you subscribe for your Pinata, so this probably doesn't even affect you. But view Pinatas are a little tough to record. Just saying. And then slide breaks through the dirt. You know, slide don't care. Then we run all the way back and go through the aura. Or no, I don't think it's an aura. We have to wait. I'm, you know the green aura thing. I don't even think there is one. I think there's a key, right? Or maybe there is an aura. Let's see. No, nope, yeah, there's a key. Oh, there's an aura behind it. Whatever. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm really tired. It's it's about 1 a.m. If anybody cares, it's April 27, 2013, and I can really quickly check when this was recorded um hmm. I'll check in a little bit so here I'm going super slow motion I don't know why oh yeah I wanted to do that awesome jump okay um this was recorded January 15th oh my goodness that was about a little longer than three months ago so holy crap Three and a half months ago this was recorded. Again, I don't really do that with most of my videos at all. So what I was saying was your pinatas are just kind of annoying. The, no, not annoying. That's just not what I feel like. They're a little tough to record. One, when I get on Xbox. But unfortunately, it's obstructed by this reinforced ceiling hatch. No problem. 
They seem to have plenty of firepower around here. I'll just have to find a few more treasure keys to get at it. Okay, so what I was saying was, um, so yeah, now we gotta get all these keys, all damn keys, you know, we've been doing in the past. So, oh, here's the panda king. Okay, so anyways, um, like I was saying, what? Oh, I guess we go into this one? Yeah, it's a quick one, so we end up doing this. Murray's all fired up to make the run for the key. While on the blasting station, use the left analog stick to aim and the square button to fire. Right on. I'll keep him covered. So you guys remember this from episode 6? Oh, I don't remember what it was. It was, um, like, ben oh, Bentley, er, oh, no, it was Murray's Gamble. Wow, how do I remember the name of that? So yes, it's one of these shooter levels. I don't think I get it on my first try, but I think I'm close. If not, I do get it on my first try. So it's pretty easy, it's a lot longer. Oh, and also we have a gold charm, so we have two hits on... I keep on calling that name, on Murray. And so, you know, it, it's pretty basic. Um, not much, too much to say about it, but again, with a few of you, like I've been trying to say, um, sometimes I want to get on Xbox and play with some friends. That's what I got Xbox for. Keep it up. Back to the tents, we can play video games with my friends. I mean, what I, why I got Xbox Live. Um, and if any of you haven't added me yet, hopefully I'll have space in my friends list. I get a lot of friend requests. Um, King Geek 185 is my gamer tag as of now. But, you know, um, that doesn't work. Private message me on YouTube and I'll tell you my new one. But I doubt I've changed it. So, anyway, um, it's not as much to do anymore, and I'm planning a lot of stuff out, and also they take time to edit and render and stuff, so they don't take as long as these. I like this music, actually. Kind of cool. I don't know. Random. And lastly, I've been working on my next Let's Plays, and I know I always say I'm working on them, and I really shouldn't be... I mean... This one's not over, so why am I wasting? Why is it not being finished? And I'm spending time on my next one. <sighs> Sorry, I'm yawning. Um, this part's scary. There's a lot of stuff here. You think? Oh no, you go down a little more. It's kind of confusing, and then you go up to the end. Um, so, um, my next let's play I haven't. I obviously haven't mentioned yet. I hid Sly for a while. Um. I think I'm gonna come out with two, hopefully, when I finish Sly, which I would actually just tonight. Um, yes, this is the part I was talking about. If anybody cares, um, actually tonight, about two hours ago, HL Gaming and I were recording episode 19, I think, of the series. Um, but, you know, you'll see that, hopefully, probably again. Keep yawning. I apologize, I keep coming, I need to go to bed. Um, yes, yeah, so this is a lot of these guys. So what I was saying was, um, I was recording, and probably by the time you see this, I'll already be finished with the series, I'll be on to another one, you know, so it won't really matter. 63% we end off with Murray's, mm, I almost called him Bentley, we end off with Murray's cool, what's up with, he's kind of glitched out, look at his scarf, it's like, I don't know. All right. Anyway, um, so if you enjoyed this one, watch the next one. <laughs> I don't know. Do whatever you want. I don't mind. Um. Oh man, I I, I I'm tired. Okay. So anyway, two keys, sixty-three percent. In the next episode, we will be taking on flaming temple of flame i think and an unseen foe maybe we just take on i don't yeah i think we take on both of them or close see you well no whatever okay so the video just ended and i was gonna end abruptly but no so um anyways thanks for watching hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you guys next time